What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another day of the daily vertical jump workouts. Today is day seven. It's one week that we've been doing this challenge. Hopefully, you've been following along and getting in work every day. By this point, you should be seeing results and you should be seeing an increase in your vertical jump. I've seen an increase in my vertical jump, specifically my one leg bounce. Just continue to work every day in 2024 and you'll be able to reach your vertical jump goals. Today, we got more plyometrics and I'm gonna be walking you through every single exercise that I do. So let's get into it. The first exercise we have are single leg line jumps on each leg. We have 12 reps front to back and 12 reps side to side. So let's get into it. That's 12 reps on each leg. And now for the next exercise, we have depth jumps. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate one for you. You wanna go ahead and find a box, step off slow, and as soon as you hit the ground, explode up, and you wanna land soft on the ground. So we got 10 reps of depth jumps. Let's get into it. All right, so that's 10 reps of depth jumps. Now for the next exercise, we have rim touches. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that. You're gonna wanna need a basketball and a hoop that you can get to that's 10 feet. If you can't, then you can just go ahead and follow along without the basketball or without the hoop. Just make sure you're jumping your highest on each rep. But either way, we're still getting that work in, so let's get into this exercise. All right, so as you can see, we're at the basketball rim. So right now we got 10 reps of rim touches of two feet. So you're gonna go push off, step one, two, and explode up. And you're gonna do five reps of that. And if you would like, for the second five reps, you can go ahead and grab a basketball and go up and get as high as you can, trying to dunk the basketball. Even if you miss, it still counts as a rep. We're just focusing on that motion, getting up and trying to go up for a dunk. And over time, you'll get higher and higher when he jumps and be able to dunk. All right, so for the next five reps of these rim touches off two feet, I'll be going up and I'm gonna be trying to get as high as I can dunking the ball. 
If you're not close to dunking yet and you don't want to use a basketball for this part, you don't have to. Just go up and continue to touch as high as you can. Now we got the same thing, but on one foot. Let's get into it. As you can see, I'm starting to improve on my one leg jumps. I'm able to grab rim now easily. That's a result of continuing to stay consistent with the workout and just practicing it. All right, so that's five reps without the basketball, one leg rim touches. Now we got the same thing with the basketball, I'm going up trying to dunk it. We got five more reps. Right now we got some more single leg work. We're doing split leg squats. On, it's gonna be on one leg. You can put one leg back on the box like this. Or if you don't have a box, you can just get in a split lunge position and just go slow down and fast up like this. We got 15 reps on the right leg and 15 on the left leg. All right, now we're gonna get into the last exercise. We have calf raises. We have 100 on right leg, 100 on left, and 100 on both legs. So let's get into it.
All right, so hopefully you followed along with that workout. That was day seven of the vertical jump workouts. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video so you can stay updated. I'm gonna be posting on this channel, Leezy 1K every day. Make sure you follow my Instagram and make sure you follow my TikTok as well so you can stay updated on there. I'll be posting more workout videos on my TikTok as well as on here as I continue to improve my athletic ability this year in 2024. And if you follow along with me, you can only get better. So thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you stay consistent with the workouts and I'll see you in the next video.